Okay, good afternoon. My name is Andy, um, also known as the Groggy Otter. And I'm going to start a little video series about wine drinking. Some of my favorite styles of wine. And we're going to go through a small little story of drinking wines and tasting wines that I particularly love. And we're going to be trying a lot of wines that I've never tried, but will be in the styles that I actually do appreciate. So tonight, we're going to try a simple wine, a simple Cabernet Sauvignon. I do love Cabernet. I love Washington State Cabernet, California Cabernet. I think they produce some of the best Cabernets um, in the world. And I think that... Uh, we're going to start off with this particular one, which is from Patterson, Washington, and this is uh, this is Horse Haven Hills 2018 Cabernet. We'll test it out. We'll take a look at it. We'll take a look at its color. We'll take a look at how it smells and how it tastes. So let's do this. Okay, just to keep you guys in the know, that's what the bottle looks like. The bottle costs anywhere between $14 to $20. It's a simple Cabernet, but a little better than uh, like three buck chuck and whatnot. Um, I think I've tasted this one before. I cannot recall, so if I can't recall, then well, maybe it wasn't so dynamite, was it? But we'll try it here. Um, you could just smell the fragrance coming off of it already. I do prefer to drink wine outside. The fresh air does do something compared to stale indoor air. Um, so always try to drink your wine outside if you have the ability to, unless it gets too cold. Um, and also don't be afraid to lower the temperature of your red wines in the summertime so you can enjoy them without having them be room temperature when it's 80 degrees outside. That's not necessarily fun. All right, so let's give it a swirl. Of course, if you take a look at the color, it's not so bad. It's a beautiful, typical deep red color that uh, Cabernet Sauvignon should have. Ugh, the smell is rather fruit forward. And in the second smell, you can completely smell oak. I do love a good oaky wine. So don't ever be afraid of oak. As a matter of fact, I love a wine that smells like an old book, tastes like an old book, something that you're drinking out of some library. So it's got beautiful long legs. I really don't care about that, but people like to say it's got long legs. Um, but it does actually have some beautiful long legs, if you can see from here, if the camera does serve me right. Okay. All right. Well, let's have a taste. Very dry. Very dry. Very fruity. Dark fruits. I taste a lot of darker fruits, plum. Um, don't have to get too picky. You really don't. You don't have to pick the wine apart. Generally, you go by your taste. Go with what you like. I always tell people, drink what you like. You don't have to drink what everybody else is telling you to drink. The second flavor does have, the second sip does have a wonderful bouquet. Mm. Its acid levels are a little bit more than medium. That's okay. I would consume this with a steak, definitely. This would go excellent with a steak. Something off the barbecue. This would actually go very good with beef bourguignon. And the third sip's a charm. I could sit there and I could drink this all night. Um, 
It is comfortable. It is warm. I do actually really enjoy it. This won't be my last bottle that I buy of uh, Havens Hills. Oops. Horse Haven Hills. Sorry about that. This won't be the last bottle that I buy of it. I think it's rather delicious. You should try it sometime. And uh, follow me along. Uh, we will start doing more and more and more. I will tell you more about myself. Uh, I do tell you that I do love wine. I've been drinking wine my whole life. I am not a connoisseur. Please do not look at me as a connoisseur. I like what I like. I know what I like. And I drink what I like. Cheers, everybody, from the Groggy Otter. Have a good night.